Hello, what's up, YouTube? Eddie K here with another tutorial. You never knew you could save multiple images in Photoshop, right? Stay tuned. I will show you how to do that in a GP. Usually, we use the export as option to save our images. But when you have multiple images open in Photoshop, you can't use this option. Instead, the method I'm about to show you will be much convenient and faster to do. Before we continue, let me give you guys a moment to like and subscribe to my channel to enable YouTube to promote this video to all those who need this tutorial and help my channel grow. Thank you for doing that. So right now, as you can see on the screen, I have a number of images open in Photoshop. I have about 25 images open in Photoshop right now. So without wasting much time, let's save all these images. So we'll simply come to file, script then to image processor so with this new window opened this is where you're going to uh, input the settings that you require or that best suit your images so with the first option you select the images to process so you take use open images then you move to the second option that is select location to save processed images so at this session you make sure you select a preferred location for the images to be saved or you can create a new folder and then give it a name in the description so let's say new and then press ok and the third option that is the file type so you can either save this as a jpeg um, a psd or a tiff a tiff is a tag image file format so in this tutorial we'll be saving it as jpeg and with a quality you can either select the maximum quality that is 12 or less um, values for your quality depending your on your own preference so with mine i'll select 10 and then make sure um, you take include icc profile and also make sure you take convert profile to srgb and then click on run so you give the photoshop ai some few moments to save all your images and then you can find all those images in the folder you created on your desktop so basically this is how you save multiple images in photoshop and after it's done after the ai is done you go back to your desktop and desktop and you can locate the new file and you see that photoshop has created a new folder called jpeg and in it in it you're going to find all the images that you saved so this is how you save multiple images in photoshop Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video.